Hey guys, it's Georgia from Georgia and her pets and sorry I haven't filmed for like a month now and that is because I've been busy with school and loads of test, tests so sorry about that. So as some of you may know, well probably all of you, but Christmas is like right around the corner. It's exactly 22 sleeps now. And I've got all my Christmas decorations up by here. And I've also done a bit of Christmas shopping for the pets. So I'm just going to get on with the video. And at the end there will be a collective haul of things I bought last weekend. So right now I'm going to start off with the things I bought like today. So let's get on with the video. So these items are from Pets at Home and um, Pound Stretcher. Because if you didn't know... Um, there's a, like, um, oh, the, the cat's playing with the, like, Misty is, like, right there. And she's play she just pushed this bauble. Um, but, uh, and by the way, I got cold. Sorry if I'm sniffling and if my voice is weird. But these are both from Pound Stretcher, the Pet Hut, if you didn't already know. There's that section. Oh, and sorry about the background noise. There's so many apologies after making this video. Um, another thing is... These are from Pets at Home and Pound Stretcher, the Pet Hut section. So I'm going to stop babbling and just show you what I got. So I'm going to start with things from uh, the Pet Hut. And the first thing is this um, Rosewood Naturals trio of fun balls. And these are in the medium size. Now, this is a Christmas present for Maisie and Nibbles. So I'm going to give Maisie... Um, I think I'm going to give Maisie this, either these two or these two. And one of these are going to go to Nibbles. Probably the Cornhusk Ball. So there's a Willow Ball, a Seagrass Ball, and a Cornhusk Ball. And these were, I think, $2.99. But they just look like this, and it's just three medium-sized balls. They're about the length of my fingers. Yeah, about the size of the palm of my hand. But that's the first thing. And these are mostly Christmas presents, so that's the first thing. The next thing from the pound stretcher section, like not the pet hut section, but I got this um, Christmas um, like mug, and it was only a pound. And the reason why I got this was not for drinking out of um because it's ceramic, I can put it in the hamster cage. So I can put this in Maisie's cage as like a hideout in a Christmas theme, which I will be showing you very, very soon. I think I'm going to film it tomorrow. So you can look out for that. The next thing I got was, um, the, the next two things that I got were are for the cats to go in their cat stockings for Christmas. Because if you don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I have cat stockings. And that's going to be something I'm going to show you in the collective haul at the end. But this is an extra to go in the cat stockings. Hold on, my mum just called me. Wait there. Sorry about that. My mum just wanted me to do a job quickly. Um, but yeah, I have cat stockings. And I've got um, something else from the pet hut just to go um, like slip between the four cats. Or maybe Misty and Jack because Gizmo and Socks don't really play that much anymore because they're like older and they're not really playful but Misty and Jack are still kittens so they love their toys so I've got them these um there's it's like a pack um multi-pack sparkle cat toys so there's like a like a tinsely mouse type thing a catnip a catnip sack thing this like um, bow thing which is like got tinsel and ribbon this little like mouse plushie with like um, a feather on the top there's like this um, cat ball and this like green pom-pom so that's that and I think that's all I got from um, the pet hut oh no wait I was wrong there's one more thing yeah here, here they are. Right, I got a bit confused for a second. So I got these 
Um, this this is a like um a two pack. That's why they're connected. But this was I think it was like it's ninety nine p for one. So I got two. So these are them, and it's the Cupid and Comet six turkey and cranberry cat sticks and these are to go in their cat stocking so this one is going to be for misty and this is going to be for jack it's just the back and i love the cupid and comet like brand for cats um you can also get some for dogs as well um so i got these Next, uh, the next couple of things I got were from um, uh, Pets at Home. So the first thing I had to get was this. Um, I needed to get some more hamster food. So this is the food I feed Maisie. It's the... Oh, pardon me, I just burped. Um, this is the Tiny Friends Farm Harriet Hamster Tasty Mix. And it encourages natural foraging. And Maisie goes crazy for this food, so that's why I like literally can't live without this food. Because Maisie is like, I'm go I'm gonna say it, but she's a fussy hamster. She will not eat like the cheaper vial. This is pretty cheap. It's only two pounds a bag, but she won't eat like cheap like food if you got know what I mean, like wag and stuff. She literally she will not eat it. She refuses to. So it's just a waste because I end up having to throw it out. But then I seen loads of people saying that um, Hazel Hamster in the US was really good, which is Harry Hamster in the UK. So I tried it out and Maisie loves it. So this mix is just amazing. It just has like some peanuts and um, sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds and pellets and stuff. I really should have made more room for this. Uh, ugh. I'm literally running out of room now. Oh well. Okay, so the next thing, um, the last two things I got are some like treat type things. So I got the healthy. Oh, what the heck? I can't read that, but it's like, San I, hell, hell, like. Oh no, that's a T. Shoot me in the head. Honestly, I thought that was an I. But then it says heal high bites. So that is a T. That is a T. I am so dumb. Oh my god. Alright, so this is the Healthy Bites Odor Care for small animals. And this is for rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, pet rats, and mice. And also, again, I've seen these in the shops and I haven't picked them up because I don't know if they'd be worth it because they are like two pounds and I didn't know if it was going to be worth it if they were going to help but I seen a video on um I'll leave the channel in the description box because I can't remember the username um but she recommended these um treats and said they work so I decided to pick these up because Maisie's cage is kind of stinky. So this might help. And it's just, just maybe like oils and different like um, foods. And it just helps control cage odors. Contains omega-3 for healthy skin and coat. And it tastes, ooh, it tastes like apple. Ooh, got a little dwarf hamster guinea pig and a little bunny on there. That's what it looks like. So, we'll give these a go. I'm honestly running out of room now. Ah. And the last thing, they were at the counter. And I was just like, you know what? These I've seen in Top Colors 26 videos. And they just look so cute and I needed to get one. Ooh. Smells quite nice actually. But this is a whimsy alligator chew. And this was like 89p. Like it's about the length of my finger. 
so they are quite big you shouldn't give these like like every single day you shouldn't leave it in the cage um just because it is like a treat and basically i got this was because of the ridges like chocolate colors 26 said and they're like potato based and it's all natural so it's safe for hamsters it's a dog chew and it's like hollow and this is like really cute and quite big as well and the ridges will help so say you have like a fuzzy chewer and the sorry about that i just had to suddenly stop because my mum just walked into the room but as i was saying these are safe for hamsters and if you have a fussy chewer like they won't chew normal wood chews um because it's like a treat they'll obviously want to chew it and the ridges will help um like to shorten their teeth like file their teeth down so meh. what the heck on alligators don't go meh oh yeah 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 I don't think they do that either. It's just so adorable. Okay, so I honestly did not know how long I'd been filming for. If I look like here right now, it's been going on for like, 11 minutes and 20, like 30 seconds now. So I think I'll do the collective haul in another video. So if you want to see that, please comment below. Um, because I, my camera only films for like, 14 minutes and i don't know if i'm going to do the collective haul in 14 minutes um so what was i gonna say what am i doing now that's the haul and my christmas kitchen store will be up very soon and yeah please like comment and subscribe and i will see you later